Hi, Andrew, how are you? Would you believe I'm in Boulder, Colorado, and I thought, why don't I pick you up and we go for a dex drive? How do you feel about that? Okay, see you in 20 minutes. Take care. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome to Colorado. I think I came on a really nice day. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. Spectacular. The snow is gone and now yeah. we're, you can see the mountains. Yeah, so. it's... Over the next few years, obviously there's been a lot of growth in Dex. It's a, it's a hot topic. And what are the predictions you're seeing from your research? As what's next? What's the big things happening in Dex next? A couple of things. So yeah. the way that we formally define Dex um, at Forrester is that it's the sum of perceptions employees have working with technology. Mm -hmm. That could be any technology. It could be the productivity tools. It could be the employee facing HR tools. And today, when you look at the actual DEX market um, and the vendors that are out there, it's very much focused on specific areas. Maybe it's service desk or end user computing or you know application performance, those types of things. What I think is gonna to continue to happen is we'll have growth and visibility. Right. These tools are gonna to have to start to be more comprehensive in terms of understanding all of these elements that ultimately impact the digital employee experience. So the second major area is around integration with the rest of the ecosystem. So you have you know, other monitoring tools out there, you have surveying tools from various vendors, right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of these become essentially systems of record for digital experience. And right. so if you're able to integrate that into the broader ecosystem, and, and really start to visualize all this data together, mm -hmm. then you start to have a much better understanding of what's happening in your environment from a technology perspective. So the other major thing that I'm seeing um, in terms of the next year is people really starting to think about the experience level agreement, the XLA, um, in a more advanced way, yeah. not just looking at markers of performance and boot up time, and crash rates and things like that, which is, a lot of how people have thought about it today, employee satisfaction, survey results, but starting to lean in and say, what is this employee journey that this person is going through on a day-to-day -day basis? What are all the technologies they interact that either make that experience really bad or make it really great and exceptional and start to say, how do I grade that along the way? So I'm seeing more and more clients start to take a bit of a more nuanced approach to XLAs as well. So I think we'll see um, more of a focus on measurement over the next year as well.